So, after doing the unboxing of this Is Young rear view dash camera, I'm going to go a little bit deeper on the functions and what I've seen or what I've experienced as per the 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 usage of this dash camera. So I'm just going to go straight right ahead, right ahead and plug it in. I got this AC DC AC to DC adapter, so I'm just going to plug it right here at home. So immediately this came on, immediately I plugged it in just as you plug it into your car, this comes on, okay? The, the last time I think we talked about it, I'm not sure, but here, this is the USB port right here. The AV in, the AV in is for the back camera, the rear camera, and you, we have the SD port right here. So, just going through and using the buttons. The on and off button right here. And if you notice, this right here keeps on, keeps on recording. I can either press OK just to put it off or oh, oh, okay to put it back on so I'm just gonna put it off for now right here we have the menu button right here is to change from the different settings this is for pictures and these are the videos that were already recorded let's just that I just recorded right now I can just sorry I thought press no okay That was a short one, but the 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 volume is not a good one. Let's try it again. Okay, I'll press OK. The picture is quite excellent shows HD as it's supposed to show but the volume sucks stop and then I go I press the okay. two second video third video So, basically, I'm just going to show you how the functions of, of this rear, rear dash cam, that's all. So, right here, these are the up and down buttons, and this is the OK button is the confirmation button. So, you just press OK to go to resolution, you choose whichever resolution you want. Okay, usually I go with IDHD since yesterday. Press OK. Quality, which whichever you want, the one M, two M, or three M. I usually, since yesterday, I've stayed with three. Cyclic recording. Cyclic recording is the same as loop recording. Either you want you want the 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 camera to record every one minute, every two minute, every three minute, or else you, you can just put it off. Putting it off, it just continues recording, that's all. But I prefer three minute cycle recording. The balance, exposure, motion detection, any bump, any anyone touches your car or hits your car, it automatically detects it and the camera comes up. Recording, it's a recording. Parking guard, 
that's mostly for the rear camera but I'm not installing the rear camera right now um, date stamp you have option either to put it on or not I left it on gravity sensing beep sound which is what we're hearing right now the date and time you can correct it here you just press OK and it continues use these buttons to go up and down or down okay okay goes to the next one okay goes to the next one and you finish we go down auto power off either if you want it either on or off for every 10 or 20 seconds or every 30 seconds it goes off I left it off language when you get this dash camera it comes in Spanish so you can just fool around more or less or until you get to something that looks like language and then you can just change it there you've got options for I think that the first two are Chinese English Dutch French Spanish that's just about it frequency LCD brightness and you can either format the the cut straight from here or go back to default settings so that's just about all there's not much to talk about and um, I'm still this is still on, on, on I'm still testing this this dash camera so this is not the final the final um, review hopefully this gave you guys enough information and hopefully you enjoyed it bye